Like, what's the, this is the exciting technical part of our presentation. It's about to begin now. And uh, uh, here's some uh, exciting, uh, let's see if I can get this all arranged for you. Hold on a minute. You got to bear with me. Yeah, here it is. I don't know where to, yeah. Okay, there it is. This page is, I don't know if you can read it here. It's hard to read probably. Especially because I'm shaking around and sitting on a little stool and whatever. But um, the, uh, this is the dimensions of the rim. The rim itself, 15 inch rim of course, 6 inches wide at the tire mounting area. That's a calculated figure. You can see here if we zoom in real close. This picture, on, by the way, the one I'm holding in my hand and you're looking at right now, this one is on the website. Uh, and on my website, it will not be shaking around, obviously, like it is here. But um, here's some, uh, all of the wheels, like I said, they're stamped K2 with a 3 under it. Right there, can you see that? Okay, yeah. And that's uh, wheel A, B, C, and D. And uh, I can't find anything right here, see? So they can't find no other stampings into the rim on the street side or the interfaces. <coughs> I can't find my first set. It had, a, it had some uh, 15X6LB, then a space and T dot, T D O T. So that was on my first set of fats, which were exactly like this. So I've looked over these rims microscopically close and I cannot find this 15X6LB T dot. So, I don't know if these rims may be made by a different manufacturer, and they are Fayette Dayton rims, but they may have not have been made by Firestone, which means they didn't stamp the outside. I, I really couldn't tell you. Uh, I'm not up on all the technical aspects, but I'm up on some of them. However, here's something about, uh, about the rims. I, I told you before, the overall OD of the rims, extreme outside to extreme outside across, is 16 and 11 sixteenths or possibly a wee hair less than that and when I say a wee hair I'm talking about way less than a 30 second I'm talking about 10 or 15 thousandths so for all practical purposes it's 16 and 11 sixteenths now this distance from any one bolt hole to the next bolt hole next to it say from like 9 o'clock till noon is 6 and 11 sixteenths center to center and if you want to go center to center from noon to six <coughs> lug the lug at noon say the top and the bottom lug hole six o'clock we got nine and seven sixteenths inches in that measurement now uh, the giant hole in the in the center of the rim that that being this well you saw those you know what we're talking about here the giant hole at the rim center is seven is seven and fifteen sixteenths or a hair less so when I, I know what a 32nd of an inch is and I have I own dial calipers and I know how to use them I've owned metal lathes and uh, I know how to measure stuff and I'm not going to get it wrong not too awful often admittedly I get it wrong like maybe one out of a thousand times or stuff like that but I don't get it wrong like as an ongoing thing so anyway the giant hole at the rim center on these wheels the ones I showed you just now is 7 and 15 sixteenths or possibly a wee hair less maybe 10 or 15 thousandths not even a 32nd of an inch less so for all practical purposes most guys would probably measure that and say it's an 8 inch but I'm telling you it's 7 and 15, seven and 15 sixteenths okay so we got that and uh, that pretty much covers it for today that's been my presentation of Fayette wheels number two and uh, yeah I can tell you the tires I can sell you the rims. I can sell you one rim and two tires, or all four tires and no rims, or all four rims and no tires, some rims, some tires. We can mix and match however you like. And don't forget to see my other Fayette Wheels movie. It's a real hit. And I have some other movies on here too that are equally exciting, although not as profoundly technical as this one. So, 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 so thanks a real lot for stopping in. I really enjoyed visiting with you today. I'm Dave, I'm in Gainesville, Florida. Have a nice day. Shoot me an email.